Today I want to share with you how you can use Notion buttons to create a really easy daily log. So I've got my daily log page open here and there are things I want to track on a daily basis like the physical activity that I'm doing, exercises, energy levels, maybe daily practices, anything that you're kind of doing any habit tracking around or again that you're just logging on a daily basis, you can use Notion buttons. So let me show you how easy it is to do this. So I have a relation between my journal database and my activity database. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you've got a relation property between these two items. And I'll just open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. This is an activity log database. This is my journal database and the two have a relation. If I click on log today, you'll see that that is now attached as a relation in the database. Now, if I were doing this manually and I were going to activities, link another page, and then I have to scroll through and find what I want or start typing. So there's way more steps involved when you're trying to connect it through a relation here versus just clicking on a log button. So what's actually happening here with this button? Let's take a look. So I've got this log today button. And if I edit the property, you'll see that there is an automation here such that when the button is clicked, what I'm doing is editing pages that match one filter in the journal, which is the date is today. And that means it's only going to target today's daily journal. And then what I'm doing is I'm selecting the activity relation in the journal database and I'm saying add this page in this page being walk. So this is a dynamic property. And when you add this property here, Notion is going to give you the option to say this page, which is a dynamic, um, it's a dynamic property. And so that means it's going to reflect whichever button you are clicking. So if I click swim, it's going to attach swim. If I click walk, it's going to attack, attach walk. So this is going to happen with all of these different properties here. Let's say physio exercises and stretch, right? So it's added all three of those, but with something like energy, I actually only want to track energy one time in the day. So let's say I accidentally clicked on high energy and I was like, no, wait a second. Today was a pretty mellow day. I can click on mellow and it's actually replacing that up here. And so let me show you the difference and what's happening here. So in this log today button, what's happening is I'm doing this exact same thing. What I'm doing is editing pages that match one filter in the journal. And instead of adding the page, I'm replacing it with this page. So um, let me add a new button here just so you can see how to do this from scratch. So to add a new property, I'm just typing in BU to find button really quickly. And then I'm going to edit this automation. When the button is clicked, I want a new action to happen. And what I want to do is I want to edit uh, pages in the journal database. So it'll ask you to select the database. I'm going to look for my journal database. Great. And by default, Notion's going to choose all pages in the journal, which we don't want. We want to only edit pages that have a date property is today. Then we want to choose the property that we want to edit. So because I'm in the energy database, I want to update the energy uh, property in the journal. And then I'm going to replace it with this page. And again, Notion will show it in blue when it's a dynamic property. So they all use this exact same method. And you can do this with any database that is related to your journal database. Supplements, let's say you're tracking supplements, exercises, you know, I can choose log today, log today, practices. Let's say I spent time in nature, I did some teaching, and you can see those showing up here. And uh, doing the same thing with feelings database as well. So I can group this by pleasant or unpleasant feelings. Let's say I feel upbeat today, Maybe I feel productive today and you can see those are showing up here. So when I open up my journal database and it, you know, as I'm doing this throughout the day or at the end of the day, these are all being updated automatically. I can still do it manually here if I want to, and I can add additional things here, but the buttons definitely give you a way to edit this stuff really, really quickly. And again, the concept is exactly the same. As long as there's a relation between your journal and your database, you can use buttons to edit this automation uh, and make it super, super quick. And one of my favorite things to do to make this easier is to create linked gallery views with the button property showing. 
So you can see here, I've only got the log today button showing and the name. And that just creates a really, really clean and simple view that you can scan quickly and click on log today. It's personal preference. For example, the feelings database is pretty large. Um, so a table view might make more sense here, or I could change this to a gallery view and turn off the card preview and make that small and then make sure that uh, our buttons are showing. So that's another way of doing it if you wanted to uh, default to the gallery view. And what I like about the gallery view too is it's mobile friendly. So this page is basically what I do my mobile tracking on. At the end of the day, I can just open up this page. I set it up as a widget on my iPhone and then I can just go forth and uh, click the buttons. Super easy. It's just a nice little shortcut for updating your journal property. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.